Hey, so I actually went to the pet shop and I bought a bunch of new stuff. Well, not a bunch, but I bought a few things for uh, the ball python. Um, first off, I bought the this lamp. It was, I believe, twenty nine dollars for the lamp, and it came with a little clamp that like clamps on the side, like over here. But I don't need to use that because the way my tank's set up, it doesn't work like that. So I bought the lamp. Um, I got these two light bulbs, which. I'll show you in a second. This is the Baskin combo pack, Baskin spot lamp, and the infrared heat lamp, which is what's on right now. Um, they're both 75 watts, and it's actually doing the temperature pretty good. Like it's actually staying at like 87, and it's not moving up and it's not going down. And in Toronto, in Canada, it's really cold right now. Like we're in the minuses and stuff like that, so it's going to like get really cold in the winter time. So I need the heat to stay at the regular temperature, and yeah, so I bought the light and everything, and uh, I bought a bunch of crickets for the tree frog, which I would do a video on that, but because of, uh, because she stays in the tree and I don't, I usually just leave the, trick, uh, the crickets in there and just let her eat whenever she wants to, I can't really do a video on that because I can't tell when she's eating. <laughs> But we'll go over there and we'll check her out and just give me a minute and we'll press pause. Okay, so that's the little tree frog right here. Um, sorry that the view is like really dark. Uh, the lighting in this tank's just not good. And my cam on my phone does not pick up light at all. So, but yeah, this is her. And she has food all in the tank, like just crickets all over the place right now. Um, that's usually hanging up on the wall right here, so don't worry about it if it looks like a mess right now. It's just because I just took it down so you guys can see her. And, uh, yeah, she's been getting big. Like, when I first got her, she was, like, really small. And now she's, like, really showing her colors. Like, she was really dark at one point, And now she's really starting to, like, brighten up, like, really light green. And after I put this plant in here, like, this is, like, really light. Like, you can look, like, the branches and stuff start turning light. So I figure that's why she's starting to go light is to camouflage in. So which is nice because I like her like the bright colors. I don't like the darkness to her because she doesn't look good with it. But that's gonna be her, and I might have someone who wants to buy her. So we'll stay tuned on that one. And if I do end up buying her, I'll do an update on that and tell you how it went. <laughs> All right, take care, and we'll talk to you guys later. I'll just let you guys see her for a little bit before I leave. <laughs> There you go, now you guys can see her. Sorry, when she moved, I was going to leave it at that, but she moved around, now you guys can see her a little bit better. She's about a year old, too, so... And she's really quick. <laughs> and I have no lid on the branch right now, so... She's probably going to think about hopping out. So, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch her. Slowly climb up the glass. Uh, I missed her down like at least twice a day to three times a day. So she's always wet and she's always moist and everything's all nice and set for her. So if she does have to move around. She's not sticking to the glass. She's not tearing her skin off because of being too dry. She's just at the right spot where she needs to be. So, but yeah, I'm going to stick the tree back on here so she doesn't start hopping away. <laughs> And we are out, because <laughs> I gotta stop her from trying to climb out of the tank.